apartment. He's like, here's where he kicked it in. Now, I was I was over here, you know, trying to kill myself with right. my right hand. Uh-huh. Uh, the, then then he came in. It's like, really? Now, is the story that he was playing porn so loud because that's a cry yes. for help? Yes. Or that he was in a chair that was banging against the guy's no. floor? He was Could playing the both. porn, and so the neighbor thought that a woman was being attacked. Huh. He kicked down the door, Sorry, and then he came barging in with the sword. But then, at some point... When as soon as I uh, as soon as the blood went went back up into into my right, skull, sure. I would have had one of these conversations with the guy. And this is the one. This is the one where you back into somebody and you don't want to get the insurance companies like, involved. Right. Like, Just, look, you, you got about ten bucks worth of damage to your car. I'm none the worse for wear. Let's keep the man out right, of this absolutely. way. Uh, you put the sword away. Thanks for the intentions. I'll try to keep the porn down a few decibels, and we'll move on with our lives. Let's not get the man involved. But, no, nope, he went on CNN, and here's how it went. Wisconsin man is accused of busting into his neighbor's apartment armed with a sword. He says he thought he heard a woman being attacked. Turns out it was on TV. A certain movie the guy was watching. An adult yeah, film, certain like movie. to say. I was watching an adult movie. Apparently, way too loudly. His downstairs neighbor, James Van Iveren, heard it. Only he thought a woman was being raped. Instead of calling police, he took matters into his own hands. Van Iveren ran up the stairs with his sword. He kicked in the door, and he also broke the door's lock. He comes in with his three-foot-long sword and starts pointing it at me and going, Where is she? Van Iveren forced Brett at sword point to open all of his closets and prove... (laughs) He wasn't holding a woman hostage. When he didn't find anybody, he left. Will he think twice about watching adult Here's films from like. now on? No way. <laughs> I'm just going to watch it with the sound, or I'll buy myself some decent headphones. Headphones, yeah. That's right. He's defiant. And a little tiny pair of headphones to wear around your schminky. How dare you? <laughs> Everybody can listen. You actually put those around the yeah. sack. I don't want to correct oh, you. I'm sorry. I'm now, sorry. somewhere, does this guy have parents who have cable? Do you know what I mean? I was just wondering, what, what does he do for a living that is, doesn't mind if his boss knows this? Right. Uh, I'm sure he's single, thus the super loud porn, because yeah. when you hook up yeah. and you get married, you still watch as much porn, but no sound. No you sound. To, you have to, you have to become a headphones? lip reader. You know, you know how, in my house, because it's hidden, Gretchen won't allow porn, and now right. this is going to be a hassle for me because she's definitely up. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, she could be in the car. She doesn't listen with the kids. I, I have an office and a gym combined, and you have to have a secret map to get through it. It's no bigger than this. Your business. It's mm-hmm. no bigger than, than this room, not even that big, and it's just full of equipment. So I have to sit exactly on the end of the weight bench, about a foot from the TV screen. That's the only spot I can watch porn in. So you have to care- carefully calculate the decibel level of your porn. Oh, no, no, there's no decibel. There's you no turn it totally ever. off. Yeah, and ladies, when you come into the living room and turn on the TV and the, the volume's on zero. We've been ah. watching porn. Very nice. The guy was watching it last night, Got wasn't it. watching the news with no sound. When I really quit drinking, I did that. I told Gretchen certain secrets, and there's a man's secret right there that girls don't know. Yeah, Very you good. can flip off the Spice Channel and over to the Financial Network, but the, I, you do the math on zero volume. Yeah. He's not watching a sitcom. He's not watching no, financial No, he's still watching news. Three's Company. They're just really, really close company. <laughs> yes. So this guy... Come and knock up my whore. This, guy's, <laughs> this guy's defiant about it. And again, I'm watching thinking, I am so jealous of this man. Because I would be thinking... My parents are going to see this. See, My boss is going right. to see this. I'm loving the sword guy. Where is she? There's a girl I'm dating. Yeah. And that guy, although he seems like a hero, when you see his mugshot, he looks crazy. Well, they took him in, and then they let him out on $5,000 bail. You know who allegedly stabbed a guy with a sword in a fight? And this is when he was a really bad guy. He's been clean and sober for 12 years. He's a, he speaks now. He's going to make that clear. Todd Bridges, after allegedly shooting people and then getting off, stabbed his roommate with a real sword. You don't hear about the brothers wielding the sword Swords, very yeah. often. And then this guy's in like a holding tank, and there's some guy next to him who's, who goes, what are you in for? And he's like, ah, stole a car. Let's yeah. just move on. Yeah. <laughs> like, Man, I tried to, to stop a rape, but it was just a guy watching porn. So my question... I, know, I busted in with a sword was going to kick some ass on Braveheart. Back off, bitch. My question for you folks is busted while taking care of business. Ah. All right, what is the question exactly? Have yeah, you been? Stepmom bust in on you while you're in high school, brother, sister, friend. Roommate. Yeah. So you, it's not really a question like what would you do, it's when did it happen? 
Like, it, this has happened. We want your story. I want your story. Okay. A, a neighbor with a sword, you're not going to do better than neighbor with oh, a sword. Okay. Our listeners, are you kidding me? I don't, Here's the phone oh, number. You may tie that, but as far as wackus interrupt this goes, <laughs> I don't know if you're going to beat right, do me neighbor a favor, with a guys. sword. It is the Adam Carolla show. I understand my position on it, but I do happen to think the man is wrong. I think we've gained lots of listeners in this streaming audio thing I've heard about. I'm telling you, Mr. Carolla, sir, mm-hmm. that one of our listeners is going to beat that story. Call 1-866-901-ADAM and be ready. If you make me look like an idiot, I'm going to be mad. All right. We'll take a break. If you can do better. They can! I yeah, met a now, bunch of these people at the Rainbow last night. I actually put on MySpace. I'm having dinner at the Rainbow at 8. Come on over to 14,000 people. I I love, uh, you know, I'm trying to think. You know, grandmother. Yeah. Things involving funerals are always nice. Yeah, so yeah. All or that church. Oh, church. <laughs> all that good stuff. Just busted. Not busted you and the lady, because you Bam. and the lady busted is embarrassing it's enough embarrassing. if it's at a church, but you by yourself, you brought that on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a quick break. We'll get to your stories next on the Adam Carolla Show. And now, Adam explains to 1780s guy, computers. A magical box that delivers images of nude women? And wives allow this in the home? Uh, Well... uh, You have such a device? I don't... yeah. Make haste! That was Adam Explains Computers to 1780s Guy. Now back to the Adam Carolla Show. I do feel like if I could bring a laptop top back several hundred years, I could own a country. Yes. I could just go to whoever was ruling the country and go, you right. see this? Yes. It'd be like having fire. Who's your favorite chick? Because I got a picture of her naked on this thing. <laughs> you know what? You and yes. I think so differently, but I think in the long run, you usually, if we talk it out, have the more clever plan. Mm. A machine gun to the year 60 A.D. I rule the world. Mm, eh, you run out of bullets, though. No. How fast after you shoot ten guards and they just drop dead while you don't move from the magic boombox and do they make you kill more of them? They just stop. And yeah, go, but you're, the only you're, way you're you the kill people is to get women you, to have you, sex with you. You couldn't trust anyone that would poison your food after a few That's, days and things like that. Yes, food tasters like crazy. Anything near them lives so long. You're looking over your shoulder all the time. Me with my magic porn box or what they do you guys call it? it? Computer? Yes. Can yeah, you? okay. And what's that place that holds the books? Library. Okay. So those are the two things. <laughs> Damn it. See, me machine gun, him a laptop. Well, we that's the at- difference between me and Corolla. That's but right. The similarity is that we both want to rule the world. Yes. Mm-hmm. There you have it. And speaking of the uh, sword being less mighty than the pen, <laughs> this man was attacked whilst going at himself. And they don't say he was going at himself, but I'm doing the really loud porn math. Yeah. It's not like you're sitting around your apartment with the porn up 110 decibels and you're in the kitchen or on the phone. You're in front of the TV watching your loud porn. Is it just as good without the sound? Doesn't the sound enhance the experience? Well, now, this is is a tough and interesting question. There are a lot of guys where it's as important as the image, sometimes even more in a weird Pavlovian way. The moaning way. or the, like the smacking? No. See, uh, for me, to, uh, for me, <laughs> see, first of all, you I, know, you know, I don't mean it's literally, you know, you know the like the sound. The thing? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't like anything weird. I just, anything weird turns me off completely. Right. I just don't like it. <laughs> but that, the uh, uh, means right. nothing to me. What I like, if, if I'm going to hear the sound and, and want to hear the sound, it's a girl being violated on edge. by okay. more uh, than one full grown uh, man. And she's having some sort of conversation, kind of casually. That's that the thing may, you like. That may, and laughs and is saying stuff to him. That makes me laugh. That yeah. makes me what a what a real trooper this girl. I don't need I don't need the fake moans and groans. <laughs> I, I do I do like the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The I mean, best, okay, good. The best part of uh, old porn was the beginning part where they're advertising. <laughs> and See, I hate that. They're, they're doing. They're do- wait, I've forward. never seen this. What do they do? Yeah. They do the advertising for those, like, uh, call me numbers. 1-900 numbers or whatever numbers, and it's some chick, and she's like, oh, I've been waiting for you. I've been thinking about you. But here's the, here's the part I, oh, that always bumped me. She is performing oral on a guy while talking. While she's going, I've been waiting for you, yeah. and I'm always wow. like, who's this dude? <laughs> they should do that on their head-on commercial. You know, used, It'd be much better. I used to say that pornography could not be degrading to women because women were doing it, and I've known right. some. Although I, I, you know, have certain ideas about what's right and what's wrong, I think pornography is fine. But even though a lady says it's okay with her, when they write something vile on part of her body and then do it to her. 
Oh. That makes me think that girl's being abused in some way. Even though she's a grown woman, perfectly well, lucid, puts gonna, a good sentence together. We're going to talk to people who are abusing themselves. Write something vile? Yes. Like, it's um, on one of the commercials. I happen to have this. They uh, write something vile what? on the part uh, of the uh, body? On the part of the body that they would like you to do something to. Oh, it like says enter to do here? Something, yeah, but a little oh, nastier. Really? Yeah. Oh, not seen. And I, oh. could be, I could be thrown. I was watching, and it was a coming attraction, right? And I'm watching, uh, and I'm trying to fast forward, and sometimes right. they won't let you fast forward through the coming attraction. Th- that's and, the, on the DVD yeah. variety. Uh, and s- it pops up a movie. And, you know, I have a kid. I have a daughter. And it pops up on the screen, and the movie's called Somebody's Daughter. And I couldn't. Mm. I couldn't. I just mm. turned it off and said, I can't. I parentheses, not yours. Yeah, yeah. It took me or your dad's. Pff, hours to recover. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> uh, called a refractory period, oh, by sorry. the way. Ed? Yeah, what's going on? You uh, have yourself a embarrassing story? Uh, real quick, I love the show. You guys are doing a great job. Keep it up. Thanks, uh, um, Yeah, I was at my buddy's house, and uh, he was going to go take a shower. We were there by ourselves. He lived with his mom. Mm-hmm. And... I'm in his room, and I open his closet, and he's got the mother of all porn collections right at your heart, Adam. He's got Mm -hmm. like a hundred different magazines and not Playboy, hardcore porn. Oh, gotcha. Mm -hmm. So I've got it spread out on the bed. I'm trying to take my pick because I know he's going to take a little bit of an hour. I get get the one I like and, uh, you know, start handling the business. So Mm -hmm. uh, sure enough, uh, once done... His mom and his sister walk in on me. They walk into the room you're in. Uh, mom and sister. That's a and, mom. And, and, and sister. are you uh, undressed and still, you know, well, mid-form? Well, I, un- I wasn't undressed. But, were you, you know, unzipped? Yeah. Did they know God, what I you could never do it Did like they that. know you, what you were doing? I had just uh, completed. And, and what both. did they do when they walked in? Oh, my God. Her, her, the mom... The mom gave me the face, <laughs> and then the sister went started going off on me. And See, about that time, this is, this is how you know porns are fake, because if this is a porn, the chick licks her index finger and starts rubbing her boob. <laughs> oh, you're making me hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the fakest hey, the, thing about the porn. Here. The fakest thing about porn is when a chick sees a guy kind of going at himself and is like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy? Yeah? You were uh, caught by whom? Uh, another watchstander on the boat. You were on. Uh, you were in the navy. Yes. Well, I'd imagine that happens a lot. <laughs> this, Only this, time. This is a recipe for getting caught. Yeah. Torpedo which is number one. I got it. Bunch of bunch of uh, nineteen year old guys who just took the GED on a <laughs> ship with three or four bunks stacked high. By the way, the big ships, five thousand people, so it's a right. small town. Zero privacy. Bunch of nineteen year olds. Yeah, so. And you're called semen, for Christ's sake. Yeah. <laughs> in jail, they'd all just confess and start doing it and trade each other for cigarettes. <laughs> in, the, in the Navy, you can't do that. Yeah, I, I, you know, they have specialty ships. They have laundry ships and radar ships and troop carriers. Why not just have one for chronic masturbators? I would just get on that enough. ship. I, I, parents I would wouldn't be proud, but well, I would just do it. You know what? Because I don't know, like... Let's, again, I'm going to use having sex with you as an example because you're the lovely young lady in the room. I mean nothing personal, okay? Thanks, Dan. Mm-hmm. Okay. If I have sex with Teresa, there is a split second afterwards where I have absolutely no interest in Teresa. She might as well just turn into a steak, mm-hmm. and that would be nice of her, and a beer possibly. And you just ate. Yeah. yeah, right. And I'm all, you know, and then eventually I'll be reminded that I like Teresa in like 20 minutes or so. Mm-hmm. I say... You finish one off, and mm-hmm. you see a bad guy coming over the bow. You pick up your gun and you shoot him dead. There's no refractory period of doing your job just because you're on the chronic masturbation ship. Mm-hmm. I think it's a fine idea. Mm-hmm. We put it out there in the open so everybody can do it, and then we kill more bad guys. S.S. Rubens. I'm thinking about Pee Wee Herman. I think nice, that's nice, nice. Yeah. Good. And when we christen it, that ain't champagne. <laughs> <laughs> George Michael shows oh, up for the, the opening. Nice. The president's wife is going to be so disappointed when she finds out. Famous <laughs> masturbators. So it's George oh, Michael and Pee Wee Herman. Your yeah. mouth to God's ears one day. I hope there's a picture. <laughs> me and Canton, where the Hall of Fame <laughs> is. All right, we need to take our USS Jurgens <laughs> set and sail. You want to talk about scaring the enemy? Wait till the, wait till the masturbatory ship pulls up in your harbor. They, they just pull and they board the boat and go, whoa, they hit their head. Uh, Oh, that ain't poop all, on the deck. Yeah, all hands on something. Open the rear hatch. That's Richard Hatch.